Hi, I'm Rich Tannis. And I'm Rod Tannis. And we're the RC Twins. Yes, we are. And we're going to move the throttle all the way to the top. Hey, today we're going to talk about timing and we're going to talk about how to program with your transmitter. Now you can get these fancy cards and boxes and things like that. But really, everything you need is right here in the transmitter. You don't need to buy that other stuff. It's pretty simple. Okay, so why would you change timing in the first place? Well, these motors are all a little bit different. Um, they've got uh, small ones have only uh, maybe four poles or two poles. Um, all the way up to very, very large motors may have 30 poles. Well, anything over six poles, you're going to want to raise those, that timing value uh, up uh, to 15, 20, 30 degrees. Now, most of the 60cc and higher, I've got at 30 degrees. So how do you know that your motor timing is not enough? Well, sometimes uh, when you uh, go to advance the throttle, especially after it's warmed up a little bit, you'll make a sound like or something like that, or just like this sound. Or sometimes it could be a little bit higher pitch, but generally it sounds like the bearings are bad on the motor. Well, they're not. Just your timing needs to be reset. That's all there is to this. All right, now here's the instructions that uh, came with this Skywalker ESC. And you can see right here, there's three areas. Program mode, items, select programmable items, and value. Select item value. So it's really three things. All right, you can see right here, once you're in program mode, which is just simply leaving the throttle lever all the way to the top, it'll beep a couple of times, and then it'll beep a whole bunch of times, and then it's going to start to say one beep, two beep, and so on. We want timing, all right? Well, that's number six right down here. One long and one short beep. Once we're at the timing, and inside the timing, we're going to flip the lever down, and then we're going to set the thing where we want. You can see right here in the bottom, timing low is one beep, medium, two beeps, high, three beeps. Simple as that. We're going to set it to high uh, for this demonstration. We're going to plug in this battery, but first I want to remind you, do not have a prop on your motor on your airplane when you do this. Uh, I had a near accident uh, uh, doing this a long time ago when we first got started and at that point we said no more stupidity that props coming off I don't care how long it took you to put it on it's a dangerous thing if you do something wrong it's possible that that motor can start up and they're a meat cleaver so let's not do that. All right here's the transmitter we're going to turn it on And it's up, and we're going to move the throttle all the way to the top. We want to make sure throttle cuts off on this because it won't function if the throttle cuts on. All right, we're going to plug it in. Here we go. Wait for it. Programming mode. Here comes the tones. That's one. Now we're in item number two. Item number three. Item number four. Item number five. Item number six. Down to the bottom. One tone. That's medium. That's three. Up to the top. It made the change. Now all we have to do is unplug it. And it's all ready to go. Well, let's say, oh man, I think I screwed that up. I don't think this is going to be any good. No problem, because right in here, it says you can go and uh, set it all to default. Just wait for number seven. Well, let's do that, shall we? Trials all the way to the top. There, we're in programming mode. We 
We're looking for a long beep and two short ones. That's number five. That's timing. There it is, down to the bottom. Change was made, put it all back to default. Now all we have to do is unplug. And now the ESC is set right back to factory defaults. It's really no big deal at all to change it. You can buy these pieces right here if you wish. They are really handy, but they are not only brand specific, but they are ESC specific as well. So one Hobby King might not work for all Hobby Kings and so on. So you need to bear that in mind. Uh, but very, very simple to set it. Three different things, programming mode, programmable items, and values. So you select uh, the programming mode, you find the item. Once you flip it down, then you just select the values that you want to uh, use. And once you've done that, you flip the lever back up to the top, and it's over with. Simple as that. Programming with a transmitter. Made simple.